loading screens in advanced scene manager super simple i will show you how now the setup of what we want to do today is we want to make a loading screen between main menu and uh, level one main menu is just simply a button that will load level one nothing fancy is spawning a bunch of spheres that we want to hide behind a loading screen first off let's go to uh, our utility functions here that we have a few handy methods that you can help out and in this case we need a new loading screen so let's click that i'm gonna name it and this one will generate a script so let's wait for that one to compile there we go so we have the new scene an empty scene there's only one rule for our loading screen and that is to have a script on it which we have generated so let's add it So the canvas field here is you don't have to use a canvas with our loading screen they are simply normal scenes so you can do whatever you want there's only one rule and it, and that's in the script you need to have these two methods on open on close and that's it so the uh, the canvas too much going on here today so <laughs> bear with me but the canvas field here is for when you use a canvas and the this makes sure that the canvas is rendered on top of every other canvas it's basically just sort order so let's so we want to make sure that it loads between all scenes i'm going to going to add it to the global to the default on the screen today and um, if it does not show up like it usually don't show up the first time we make it let's click this refresh and there we have it now i've created a canvas very simple ai image that i want to so we can have something to look at and see that it's working it's just a canvas with a background and a slider as a progress bar so we can display the progress and we're going to go through how to do that actually let's see if it works first yep there it is the loading screen it's not hiding what's being loaded in in start but we're going to fix that Heading over to our script, we have unopen, unclose. That means when the loading screen is open, we can do stuff here. It's a coroutine, so it's very simple. Maybe you want to fade the canvas group. You want to fade out the canvas group before the loading screen closed. You do that here. Or any other thing that you want to do before and after your scenes in the loading screen is loaded so this is before any scene other scene loading happens and this is after any scene loading happens hidden behind the loading screen uh, i want to have a little bit of delay so i can see what happens because our scene is empty and it's going to be very quick so we are we, we need to see something i'm going to add two seconds there I need a slider. And we're going to update that one. How do we do that? Simply by override on progress changed. And here we do get a, a uh, struct 
every time something new happens and that's the value of the current load of the scene so we will simply just update the progress bar uh, value there we go and let's see if it works Well, first off, I want to add the canvas for the sort order. And as a reference, if you want to fade it, you can use that one. And the progress bar to the slider. And let's try it out. Yep, progress bar, but it's very quick. And it still does not hide what's behind here. So let's fix hiding the scene. Load, the loading of the spheres behind the loading screen. So here I have this simple just spawn spheres in a yeah in a grid and it's load and it's running on start coroutine and we simply just update that to I collect um, good spelling oh my god I collection Open coroutine. Oh, that was a mess. Add the callbacks and implement the interface. I'm gonna move that up. And this is also a coroutine that is run when the entire collection is loaded. In this case, we have one scene, but if it was multiple scenes, it will run after and it's required that the, uh, the script is in one of the scenes for the callback to be called this this type of callback we have others but for this one and this is a core team so we can just move the spawn here remove the old one clean it up and let's see if it's being hidden so the loading screen will wait until that, until the uh, core routine is done, and other core routines that we have, it will wait for all of those callbacks before it closes the loading screen. So you can hide stuff like loading your levels, loading your NPC, or loading your spheres, like I'm doing here. So try it out. Play. Loading screen open, level open, and of spawning, but we can't see it, but of is spawning and it's hidden behind the loading screen. Let's wait for that to finish. There we go. Now we can also display the uh, progress of the, uh, the loading of the uh, spheres very simply. Let's go do that. So, I loading process data is a, is the base struct that we can use. So first off, we will create our own public struct. Let's call it spheres on I load progress data or whatever you want and we will and we will that so by default we have value let's implement them and then we can add anything we want really we want to pop my name maybe I won't use it but example Name get and here let's let's make use of it. I like to do a switch with progress, and then we have a case sphere on iloader data. I'm just going to call it load 
make it simple quick oh i've forgotten to mention we actually have two of these in advanced scene manager that we can use scene load progress data which will show the date the information about what scene we are loading and break what scene we are loading you can get the scene from it the operation and if it's loading in or loading out so you can yeah you can map this to a string and you can load the name on the screen uh, yeah let's add that actually public text mesh pro ui do it with the scene name scene name punk text equal to scene data punk scene punk name and And let's add let's add a uh, little text to it so we can see what layer what, what scene is being loaded so doo -doo, the text mm -hmm. Let's make it a little bit prettier. Not it. Quick. And six hundred fifty zero and center. Go. Do we have any other fonts? We do not have any other fonts, so let's go with that. Make it empty. Um, did we add it? Yes. Oh, we we still we're not updating the progress bar right now. So let's add that as well. Progress bar punct value is equal to in data progress bar by value, or you could just get it as normally from progress. Let's do that actually. We're always going to use that. Uh, do that instead. There we go, and then we get the name from the scene that has been loaded and adding it to the text. Add out. And it's waiting a few seconds, or oh, forgot to reference it. Um, a bit clumsy today. And let's play. Oh, and there we have it. Level one is being loaded. Progress bar. Very quick because it's an empty scene. And it's probably loading a bunch right now. So, yep, let's stop it. <laughs> there we have a name, progress bar. Let's display uh, the progress of the uh, loading of the spheres. So we we did make this new this new struct um, progress is still going to come from it. So we don't really need. Well, let's add a name actually as well. So scene name. Let's use that one text equal to load dot name let's just log something else you could instead use message load progress data which is also made in inside of the advanced scene manager and that is just a string and a float like we did here just that I wanted to show how you can make your own and now we go to the spawner where we spawn the pairs again 
Uh, let's see. After we instantiate it, let's do loading green utility dot report progress and uh, this one requires a new that we created what did we call it i forgot sphere spawn sphere spawn loading progress data perfect where name let's call it something i don't have a name on the spheres loading sphere and oops read only make a constructor uh, make constructor for all of them and let's add the what's the first one we made name i think <laughs> name value so, uh, loading square and the progress would be the current amount we have so uh, call which is this one i think there we go let's try it out this should make the progress go bar go from zero to one um if we take the total divided by the no the current amount that has been loaded divided by the total we want to load well, perfect now we have progress for loading spheres There we go. Hope it helps.